for us, it was mostly about maintaining a community that had already been established. Uh, so it, it wasn't about, you know, looking for new people. There were always new people coming to us and asking us questions. And we also just noticed at that moment um, that all the breakthroughs that were happening on Bitcoin and a lot of people being focused on shit coins and, and just useless technologies that pretend to, to, to be private, pretend to to be free, to represent freedom, but fall, fall short to that. And we, we maybe, maybe the reason why we understood that is because we came from a similar background. We also got distracted at some point with altcoins and other technologies that have little purpose. So we understood uh, that you could make that bridge, that you could go, come from that side and end up uh, on the right side. So we took on that mission uh, because we, it had been our path as well. So uh, ever since, uh, ever since starting that, yes, we've increased our team. Yes, we've developed, you know, some, some a web application, uh, websites, some web tools. But uh, we've educated tens, uh, hundreds of, of individuals uh, into, you know, acquiring their self-custody setups, acquiring their coins, using Wasabi. Uh, and it has been very fruitful as experience, you know. Uh, and that's what this week was all about, you know, doing it. Uh, closing the summer of uh, of Montreal, that's very short in Canada, but uh, to do it in a in a very uh, energetic way and uh, putting uh, taking putting everyone together, and tomorrow is like the the ultimate stage of that of this week. Tomorrow is the biggest Bitcoin barbecue in the world. There's already 220 people that are gonna attend the barbecue, and it's free. So uh, we're gonna talk a lot about Bitcoin and about the stuff tomorrow.